can you take us through the decision to punt at the end of the game, please? Yeah, the decision there, um, you know, one of two things. You can either uh, attempt it on fourth down and try to go for it. We, we tried to go for the field goal, the game winner. That was, that was the thing. We were going to go for the game winner uh, with the kick. Felt comfortable with Jake, had the wind. Uh, the false start backed us up, so we, we just said, hey, let's just, let's just uh, uh, punt the football here. We didn't want to give them the ball, you know, towards midfield um, or even a chance to go for it on fourth down and long. Um, incomplete pass, something like that. They get the ball short field. They could they could kick a field goal and, and win the game. So um, just made that decision. Hopefully something you know positive might have might have come out of the, the punt. John McMullen and then Kristen Rogers. Uh, hey Doug, uh, if you go back to uh, regular time, did you consider it all going for two when the game was tied? I did. Um, I did consider it, uh, but I also felt like uh, the way our offense was playing, you know, towards the, the down the stretch, um, battled to, to get ourselves back in position. Carson in overtime uh, felt comfortable there to uh, just kick the extra point and then and then put it uh, put it back in our offense's hands at that time. So uh, just elected to kick the field goal or the extra point. Kristen and then Rob Motti. Hey Doug, curious what you tell your guys right now. I mean, what's what's the the mood for for this team? I mean, a tie is kind of almost as bad as a loss at this point. Yeah, um, I, I told them in the in the locker room after the game that that uh, that we weren't a very 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 smart football team today. Um, I think eleven penalties, very uh, came at came at crucial times, and uh, we couldn't get off the field on defense and, and offensively. Um, we didn't we didn't execute well enough. We we had some injuries, but. Um, you know, that's going to be part of the game. But uh, just not a smart football team right now, and, and that's on me, and, and uh, we'll get that fixed as we as we get uh, get ready for this next week. But, you know, I, I like how our team battled, uh, hung in there, uh, came back to tie the game at the end. But uh, just overall, not very smart today, not very disciplined, um, when those are some of the things we talk about quite a bit. Rob and then Jeff McLean. Doug, why do you think this offense is still out of sync, still can't seem to find a rhythm, and how much do you blame some of those injuries on that? Well, it's, it is it is hard, you know, when you when you got some moving pieces and you got different guys in there. But, but listen, we're not going to make excuses for anything. You know, we got to continue to work. we got to continue to practice, get better, and, um, you know, sort these things out. And, and uh, when the injuries piled up today, it just sort of – Got us a little bit out of our game plan rhythm, um, and you know, uh, it, it was tough today to find to find a sync, to find rhythm. You know, I had to give credit to uh, the Bengals, you know, for for kind of mixing up some some fr- you know some coverages, some fronts uh, on us, um, and um, you know, we just got to continue to got to continue to work. Jeff, and then Tim McManus. Uh, Doug, are Carson's mechanics the reason why he's missing layup throws? Franklin. Hey, Doug, you, uh, you pride yourself on being an aggressive coach and I like the uh, confidence that it instills in your players by doing that. How does that jive with your decision to punt uh, and create a situation where they had no chance to win? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, um, obviously in those situations, you, you got to you hopefully do what's right for the football team. Um, you know, and, and that's probably a decision I'll look back on tomorrow and say, hey, we could have done something else. But, um, you know, it is uh, uh, it is what it is. Um, we'll learn from it. I'll learn from it. And um, we'll get better. Chris and then Martin Frank. Hey, Doug, you guys are a minus seven this season when it comes to overall turn- turnover differentials. And as you mentioned, you guys had 11 penalties today. Do you guys feel right now, especially, do you feel it's more scheme or just execution? Well, it's, uh, it's a lot of that's just execution, you know, and the turnovers are, uh, you know, are, are, you know, we're, we're turning it over and we're not, we're not getting the takeaways. That's something we talked about this week as a team trying to, trying to win the turnover ratio. And we didn't do that again. So uh, we got to continue to, uh, you know, I've got to continue to, to sort of talk about that with our football team and, and somewhere we need, you know, we need to get a break where we can, we can, uh, you know, create a short field for our offense. And uh, right now we're, we're not doing that. And, um, you know the penalties today were were costly, uh, as I said, and um, can't happen. <clears throat> Martin and then Zach Berman. 
Hey, Doug, did you feel like you would be able to take advantage of them more running the football? I mean, there was kind of a sequence in the first half where you guys threw like seven straight passes and everything. You know, I was just wondering like what your thoughts were as far as trying to take advantage of them in their run defense. Yeah, you know, I, I guess. I mean, you can you can now looking back, you can say we could have done this, could have done that. Um, but uh, in the moment at the time, you know, they they had done, done they had done some things uh, with some of their nickel edge pressures that, that kind of deterred us from some of our some of our run game uh, fits, uh, stem in the front, doing different things that kind of uh, disrupt. And we knew that coming in, you know, with this team, this is a this is a team that that. That gives you a lot of multiple fronts and multiple looks, and, and so we were making adjustments on the sideline. But uh, felt like too we could we could make some uh, you know make some gains with with the ball coming out of Carson's hand and and uh, get him on the run just a little bit, uh, you know, during the game. We have time for a few more, so let's go, Zach, Jimmy, and Nick. Hey, Doug, what was Jake's range going into the game, and as far as not going for it on the fourth down, what do you think? Is it a chance of happening? You converting a fourth and 12 or them getting 12 yards without a timeout if, if, if you did get the incompletion there? Um, we were right at the kick line for Jake. Uh, so my decision to uh, kick the field goal and win the game was uh, the right one at that time. No, but as, 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 far as, as far as going for the punt and not keeping your offense on the field to try to get the fourth and 12. Well, the false start right there. We haven't, you know, when we're we were struggling a little bit on third down, um, you know. And again, looking back, I mean, hindsight's, you know, twenty twenty, I guess. And and um, I'll look at that decision and, uh, you know, tomorrow with cle clear eyes and uh, make a decision later. To me and then Nick. Yeah. Hey, Doug. Um, not to beat this point <laughs> with a, you know, like like a dead horse or whatever, but. When it was going to be the 64 yarder, you know, because he had hit from from because Jake had hit from 61 before, and because he had hit from 54 earlier with room to spare in the day earlier in the day, was there any discussion at all with with Fip or with Jake on whether to just go screw it, let's just kick it anyway? What are you talking about? I mean, we were going to kick it anyway. I mean, kick the field goal anyway. Oh, from when we had the five yard penalty. Um, no, I mean, I, you know. Again, then, then you're, you know, look, that's a decision. If you miss it, then you get, they get the ball right at, you know, the midfield stripe, and you didn't want to do that either and, and give them a short field and, and win the game. Go ahead, Nick. Uh, hi, Doug. Good. What did you see from Carson on that game tying drive at the end of regulation? Do um, you feel like you uh, made some decisions there, especially on the touchdown run, and do you think maybe maybe get a hurdle or two here with that? That one kind of broke up. Can you ask it again? Uh, yeah. What What did you see from Carson on that final touchdown or the, the final touchdown drive that tied it at the end of regulation? Um, it, he looks like he made some good decisions with runs, uh, especially on the on the touchdown. Um, did, did you Did you get anything out of it? Did you take anything from that going forward after a kind of a, uh, an up and down performance from him? Yeah, I mean. Yeah. You know he battled. He was tough. He, he he had some some tough runs. He had the run for the you know the scramble for the you know for the touchdown and and I played physical. Um, you know and and that was one of the things we did and we took we we took away from that. You know we, we did have the ability to run the football and we came out in the overtime period and basically tried to do the same thing. You know and and uh, try to try to simulate the the run game, get it going and. You know, we, we were a little behind the chains um, on a couple of drives today. You know, we weren't very good on first down again. Um, second long and third and long situations that, that hurt us. But, you know, looking at that drive and the toughness that uh, really all our guys, not just Carson, but all our guys, I mean, we had some guys that were beat up that were playing hurt uh, at the end of the game. Um, commend them for battling and, uh, you know, tying the game. 